welcome to vishesh educational videos so in this video i'm explaining a program that is one of the famous program in python that is guess the number okay if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to get the notification of my new videos please click the bell icon so let me begin the explanation of the program guess the number so before explaining the program you should look how the output of this program looks so see here so this is the output so here in a if you take a guess right if you enter the so sorry if you, yeah it will ask to take a guess that means it will ask you to uh, enter the number if you enter the number so right so it will it's going to display so many different messages suppose if you enter 10 you, your guess is too low again it will ask take a guess 15 your guess is too low again it will ask for take a guess 17 it keeps on asking for guesses when your guess is right exact match right it will be going to display that good job you guessed my number in four guesses right so this is a simple program it is going to uh, ask user to take the guesses once the number right uh, once the user guesses the correct number it is going to display the message you guessed my number in such attempts or in such guesses right now we will see how to develop this type of program so this is the code so this is the code to develop this uh, guess the number program the very simple code now i am going to explain this code one by one okay uh, line by line i am going to explain line by line so this is the first part of the program you can see here that first is the comment that is at the top of the code it explains that what a game does see this comment this is a comment so in python you know that comments are uh, right uh, to write a comment we use as symbol so this is a comment this is what is the comment tells means this is a guess the number game it is going to tell what actually this program does afterwards then the program imports the random module so why means uh, so it can use the random dot random function to generate number for the user to guess so it is going to generate the random number between the range 1 to 20 after generating any uh, after generating that random number between 1 to 20 right so the particular the return value of a random integer between 1 to 20 is stored in the variable secret number so so how it is going to generate that uh, secret number means using a random function so sorry uh, using a random module in that random module it is going to use a random function so between the range 1 to 20 it is going to select one number randomly and it is going to right return a value oh, sorry and it is going to store that value in a variable called secret number so this is the first thing next what it does means next is the print statement so it will ask the print the program tells the player that it has come up with the secret number how it has come up with the secret number using a random module in that rand using a random function it is it generated some random number and it stored in a secret uh, variable secret value so next what it does mean the program tells the player that it has come up with the secret number and will give the player six chances to guess it so you can see comment it will ask the player to guess six times right it is asking the player to guess six times so it is also telling the user that i am thinking of a number between 1 and 20 after selecting the number it will print like that so now for guesses taken again we are using for loop so guess will be between the range 1 comma 7 so 1 is the starting number 7 is the ending number you know that in for loop uh, last number should not be considered so the guesses will be obviously from 1 to 6 so print the code that lets the player enter a guess and checks that guess is in for loop that will loop at most 6 times you know that I already told you the for loop uh, will take the guess 6 times the first thing that happens in the loop is that player types in a guess 
right so it will ask the user to it will ask the user to enter the input you can see here int of input why i am using means in python whatever the input user is going to type it will be in the form of text but so i need to convert that input that is in the form of text to integer because my guess will be a number so that's why whenever my input uh, that is in the form of text should be converted into int so my uh, guess will be stored in a variable called guess so see since input returns a string it return value is passed straight into int i told you we have to translate the string into integer value so whenever whatever the guess you whatever the value you give right you can give any value right it depends on you that value will be stored in a variable called guess very simple program it is okay suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section now so so far what uh, what uh, what are the procedures so, so far means so random generate is generated random number is generated using a random int uh, function the random number is uh, stored in a secret value variable now next it asks for the user to uh, take a guess and uh, enter the number when a user enter uh, some number so it will be stored in the variable guess and how many chances are there for user to guess there are total six chances for user to Yes. So for loop we used. Next, so it will it will check if guess whatever the number you have typed that is lesser than secret number. Obviously, secret number it's already randomly generated. It is going to compare that uh, randomly generated number with your guess. Suppose uh, assume that your secret number assume that your number is ten and the secret number is uh, five. So it's going to print your guess is too low. That means uh, it is going to just compare it. Okay, if your guess is lesser than secret number, assume your the secret number is ten, your guess is five. So five is less than ten. So assume your guess is too low. Else, if guess greater than secret number, suppose secret assume that secret number is ten, your guess is twenty. So it is going to print your guess is too high. So that's very simple. It will take your uh, value that is stored in the guess variable and it is going to compare with the random number that is stored in the secret number variable. So if it is less than your whatever the number you are taken is less than the random number, it is going to print too low. Whatever the number uh, you gave, if it is greater than the uh, random number that is stored, it is going to print the guess is too high, right? So next, uh, next what happens means. So, if the guess is neither high or nor lower than the secret number, then it must be equal to the secret number. In which case, you want the program execution to break out of the loop. So, see, else break. Why you are, uh, if else if else you are using, why you are using break statement? Suppose, if your number is not less than the secret number also. If your number is not greater than the secret, secret number also, then whatever the number you have given, that is actually a secret number itself. Right? That is actually a secret number itself. So if the guess is neither higher nor lower than the secret number, then it must be equal to, then it must be equal to the secret number. Right? So in which case you want the program to break, it should come out of the loop. Right? Once it comes out of the loop, it will compare if guess is equal to secret number. Yes, it's right. You know that it should come out of the loop and it should compare. So it will compare. Obviously, this is the final choice. So it will print good job, guess it the number. Else, no, the number I was thinking of. So again, right? So if number is not at all equal or if number is not right, uh, come if, if the number whatever the number you guess is not equal to secret number it will print the number I just note this was not the number okay this is a simple explanation of the right guess the number program so in this statement see so this is uh, plus why I am uh, using this means see, this is for concatenation so plus C is for what concatenation okay so in this uh, the else case it is going to print the secret number 
here it is going to print the number of guesses taken for example see we will see the output see see your guess is uh, good job you guessed my number in four guesses see see you, you good job you guessed my number in guesses taken how much it will be stored here so four guesses so it is string plus is for concatenating the string see so that's all guys so hope you understood the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubt in the comment section